Welcome to Leah's Talkative Videos, where you learn about me. I chat with you, and then, and then, talks about my autism, episode one. Hey guys, so um, today, this is, I'm going to be talking more about my autism, and I'm going to call it Leah's, no, I'm going to call it, what, Leah's talking log, and you know, I like to chat, and I like to tell stories sometimes. I like to write stories, and I'm going to be talking about my autism t today. Probably like, a f probably like every Wednesday, depends on whether I'm busy or not. But yeah. Wait, what am I saying? But yeah. And today I'm going to be talking about what I went through. All right. I was born in May 31st, 2002. And I was just a baby. And when I was a baby, I actually was angry when I was born. Isn't that weird? Like, for one thing, I would, I didn't want to get clean when I was a baby, but that was pretty normal. You know, I want, I like being clean now, but at that time I didn't like being cleaned up. But yeah, I used to cry and scream and stuff like that, like after I was born. And then, excuse me, and then when I, when I was like, um, Meeting my sister for the first time, I, I, I just, I learned about her a lot. She was pretty outgoing, kind, and loving, and that was like very sweet of her to just understand about me. And she would always tickle me when I was a baby or stuff, baby or stuff like that, cheer me up, and. That was nice. Thank you very much, Hannah. I love you. And also, I... Hannah is my sister. And then I, when I was like... When we were like in the church and stuff... No. When we were like in the church and... I was like one years old. I realized that I could yell. I could hear myself in an echo. So I would yell, ah! Yeah, pretty loud, isn't it? But yeah, and my mom had to carry me out of the, out of, out of, the room because I was yelling so loud and I realized that I could hear myself as an echo. And then when I was about three years old, that's when I was diagnosed with autism. And back then, my parents didn't know about it, so they had to learn a lot. But I won't blame them for that. Why would I blame them? They're very nice parents. They're very understanding. And then when I was four, about four years old, we moved to Pennsylvania, from Maryland to Pennsylvania. And I went to a preschool that was like understanding about autism. And it was like, it was like, I was excited to go to school by then. Like I would just run around with my Dora backpack, you know, Dora the Explorer. Yeah. I used, that used to be my favorite show growing up, one of them, and VeggieTales, 
and then when and then I went to another school and it was an elementary school by that time and then I went to and now I'm in a new school but we're not gonna talk about that but yeah and um let me think all right what I'm going through because of my autism that might be because of my autism I hallucinate a lot like sometimes I can get very impatient when the hallucinations are like just towering towering over me and then I've I had to I have to deal with it like but I usually either ignore them or I just stay in my room on my phone and pretend that things don't bother me. I tend to do that a lot. Sometimes I like to be like other characters, like for one thing, I like joy and I like positive attitudes, so I try to have a positive attitude. Of course, I love and set out. I think it's the best movie. And then sometimes I sometimes I just wanna be, but I want to be me though. Like I like who I am, and I'm proud to be autistic. And also, sometimes I can be, a, sometimes I can be short-tempered, like, I lose my temper sometimes. I'm pretty tough, like, I'm not trying to brag, no, I would never brag to you, but I would just completely... Sometimes I would get really angry, like, ugh, you know, and, like, I would throw a fit and stuff, I would burst in the flames, you know what I'm talking about, and sometimes I get annoyed, like, and then after I get angry, I get really emotional, so I'm, so the autistic brain is, like, my experience, my autistic brain is like the pink on the side. I'm just using it as my imaginary autistic brain, you know what I mean? Like a butterfly. So the one side is pink for good, and the other side is black for evil. I'm not saying that I am evil, like I'm the bad guy, but... I have a good side and the bad side of me. I can be very sweet and angelic, but I also can be very emotional and angry and short-tempered, like. And then I have very strange emotions in my well, there are no strange emotions, but I have it, them in, like, my brain. And sometimes I, sometimes I don't like it when people yell at me and stuff or get frustrated with me. It gets very, I get very scared sometimes when they are, like... I don't like other people being angry or frustrated with me, you know, I want them to be happy, but I try to make them happy though, I try to be kind, I try to be loving, <laughs> but there are different times, there are a lot of times, like, I would just hallucinate, like, first of all, when I'm, like, eat, watching videos and relaxing and then it's time for dinner, I'm, like, I, like, just get up and stuff and, excuse me, 
and I would just sometimes see things that aren't there, like... I can see many characters from movies, like... Every time I watch cartoons, I tend to hallucinate. And sometimes I can hallucinate ponies from My Little Pony and stuff. I used to anyways. And then sometimes I hallucinate other characters like... I know they're not real. Sometimes I hallucinate characters from live action movies too. Like, I can't tell you specifically, but yeah. I, I think that's part of my autism though, because I watch a lot of cartoons. Also, I like watching PG-13 movies. I cannot lie. I'm not gonna talk about them, though. But I love movies from the 80s, though. They make me feel so excited when I watch them. Watch them. I think they're lovely. And I like watching old movies, like... I like watching musicals and stuff. I like watching comedies. They're good. And... My favorite songs were Taylor Swift songs. Taylor Swift was my absolute favorite singer and songwriter. My favorite song of her was probably Love Story. I also liked Teardrops on My Guitar, I think. True looks at me, I... Share a smell and make him seen. She's the reason for teardrops on my guitar. The only thing that keeps me listening on the wishing star. She's the song they king up. I keep singing, don't know why I do. Yeah, I love that song. It's the... I like the break in the song, too. That's always good. Yeah, Taylor Swift is my favorite musical artist. Alright. I know you've never heard this, but I'm gonna let it out. I'm seriously gonna let it out. Alright, so, when I'm happy and feeling positive emotions, of course, the positive energy was on is on the good side of my personality. I I'm very polite and kind and stuff like that. On in the me in the medium, I'm very quiet and sometimes I feel like I just want to sleep and I can burst into grumpiness. Yeah. And then, on the evil side of my personality, when I, I get easily annoyed, when I get yelled at, I, or I, when I get scolded, I lose my temper. Like, I seriously do lose my temper, but mostly I like to be good and kind and I don't want to hurt anyone. Yeah, but I know that sometimes that happens in life. There's nothing you can do about it. What I can do is not worry so much. And I, what helps me, what helps me deal with my emotions is that I love theater. I love singing. I love acting and, excuse me. And I love writing. I love writing stories. I'm writing a graphic novel right now, but I don't know if you can see it yet because I don't want to spoil it for you or the title. 
it's gonna come out whenever it can. But yeah, I'm just sweating it in.